Hi, I'm Anna Marie DeMio Doan, and I'm from the Art Center in Orange here in Orange, Virginia. And I'm a teaching artist, and I am here to work on a project that has to do with this season that we're in, springtime. We're going to be working on nests with eggs in it. And this big, larger version here was an example that I used when we were working together at Dogwood Village Senior Living. And a lot of those residents, they're in their 90s, 100 years old. And down here, Julie Jackson worked with the Head Start group. All those children, preschool aged children, they did a terrific job. Both groups did, and everyone in between, Boys and Girls Club, Friendly Oaks, all those people, everyone in between, has, they've worked on this project and it's successful in every way. Different developments, different ways of doing it. So we're gonna work on that today. Come on over, let's have fun. So here we are. I want to show you a few things. Over here, eggs, all different sizes, right? Skinny. This is a narrow one, even little markings. Longer, thinner. Here's one, a little chunkier. So, but they're basically a similar form, a little narrow at the top, rounder and broader at the bottom. So think about that when we're doing eggs. And of course, there are all different kinds of eggs, blue, speckled, all different kinds. You can make your eggs any way you want, right? These are just ideas I'm going to show you. You take it where you should. So here we go. Nests. Take a good look at those. There are so many different kinds. They have threads in them. They have beautiful horse hair, little string here and there, all different colors. So we're going to put that in our nest too. Colors are everywhere and we're always getting them reflecting upon us in every way. So the light just does that. So it's going to be a beautiful time that we're going to have here. So here we go. We're going to start this way. I'm going to take a, my trusty oil pastels. They're right over here. Got my stuff ready for me. So I'm just going to block this out, okay? And it's going to be simple and you're going to see some lines, but you're not going to see them later. They'll get covered up. We're just going to get that kind of bowl shape. Maybe you could think of it maybe as a cup, maybe a soup bowl shape for the nest. Pretty basic. Can you see that? Maybe not. So let's do it with a darker color. Okay, just a, not pressing hard at all, just a little bit of that sketching in there. That's really basically all we really need. Now, I like odd numbers in my egg nest here, so I want to um, do what I want. What if you want one? What if you want two? What if you want whatever number? You do what you want, right? Remember, this is going to be yours, and you're going to take it from there. So I'm just going to sketch in an egg, maybe one over here too, and then one back there. It is just the basic idea. So as we go along, you're going to see how it just evolves. So I've got all these beautiful colors. So I'm going to start with maybe a little brownish because we traditionally think of them as being brown, but we know, right, that there's colors everywhere. We're going to put all of them in here, just about. Don't worry if there's a little oops. We'll get, we'll take care of that. I'm going to go back over that, those eggs again. Keep kind of keeping around. They're here. So I'm going to do something a little strange. Maybe think, what is that? Blue? Why not? Blue is beautiful. You're going to gravitate to your colors, though, right? You're going to take it and you're going to gravitate towards your colors that you love. Now the interesting thing about colors is you can brown them out by taking the, co the, the complementary color. So the complementary color blue is orange. And see how it turns it brown? Isn't that interesting? We're going to do that over and over again with different colors. So I've got that idea here. You have a paper towel, maybe wipe your fingers a little, get the colors off. Now we're going to do this, get these eggs kind of in here. So I'm thinking of them more as white eggs for me. So I'm going to get them filled in. If this was all kind of messy with um, colors all over it, I would just wipe it, if you can see over here, on my paper towel and clean them off a little so if you want a pure color. But after a while, they just blend. Your best tool is going to be 
coming up. So here's my eggs. They have a lot of white on them. So now, remember how we talked about this here? See all those shadows in there? The highlights, the deeper tones, all these colors in here. We want to get those to show up. So this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to take some of that blue again. You can rub your finger on that oil pastel. You can do the same with all kinds of wonderful mediums. So I'm just going to go, I'm always thinking of the egg is kind of round, right? So I'm moving my fingers in that sort of arching way. There's no mistakes. Don't freak out if you go, oh my god. I can go back over that. I can claim it back. Maybe over here a little where it's this one's overlapping that one so I want that shadow to be there and then of course it'll be a little bit over here too right I'll keep going back over these as time goes on here now remember how that browns out a little if I take a little orange here like this rub it on my finger and then get in here I'm gonna brown it out a little add that kind of graying really in an interesting way so what about that guy back there? That's the one that's kind of hidden most. So it's probably going to be the darkest, right? I'm going to get in here. It's okay, though, to just rub it a little in here, too. Very softly. And then do the blending, right? And now they kind of disappear, so I'm going to re-kind of claim them again. Get them back here. I want my eggs. I'll fix all that. Get them back. Bring them back. Okay, so I'm going to leave those alone for a little bit. Come back to those. And then I'm going to do this. Let's get some of these other colors in here. I'm going to put some green in here. There's green in that other one that I've done in the examples. And... What would brown it out would be the complementary color of green would be red. Think of those colors that go well together, like Christmas, and you think red, how is red in here? But it is. And I can get even bigger with my nest if I feel like it's too small, it's a little tiny. Kind of going in that round way, right? It's okay if it goes off a little, those little twigs that stick out, kind of messier. I like that that green out there again. And then I'm going to get my trusty white, which I just love. Maybe even peach. Get that in here. What will happen if I start to really get in here and get those lighter colors like peach or white? It starts to make it smeary and creamy, which is really nice. Get that brown back in here. Could even throw some of this green back or blue. Let's try and pull it back into a darker thing that we were working on here. Don't be forget the inside of that nest too, right? And for my eggs. Now it starts to make some of those colors pull forward and go move back with the... And I can kind of scribbly, get a little scribbly in there. You know, it disappears as you keep going over it. But it's kind of nice to have a little texture. So I'm going to go into this, and I'm, I, I like what's happening here, but I'm going to take black. I'm not going to be too heavy with the black because it's very dark. So I'm going to go... I call it claiming that shape again that I have. And if you go, oh, it's a bump I don't like, we we get, we soften things. There's ways to do all of this. I was kind of going that curvy way, right? Be loose in your wrist. Now I'm going to do the same with this. I'm not a big straight line around there, just kind of here and there. Crisscross in a little, maybe. Now it seems more nest-like to me. 
in those colors. Maybe I want it deeper, maybe I want it wider. You're gonna make those decisions as you go, right? We're gonna work for a second though on that egg again and maybe the, the flooring or where is it? Is it maybe in the barn? Where is it on the grass? Just to give it an idea of it has presence then. Okay, so I wanted to use some of these gray colors again. I liked that. Maybe even a little green on my finger. Get into those areas that are a little bit darker. Grab a different color. And just work in there. And if it gets to be too much, you can lighten it up. Smooth it. Wipe your fingers off, remember? You just have all these techniques. And I always want to think about those shadows that are going around here. One's in front of the other. So it casts shadow. And in here, it's kind of weird, this little area. I think I'm going to make that a little bit darker. So it just seems like it's got something happening. <laughs> got a little darker. What happens? You can peel it off. Use your fingernail. You can use a toothpick. Well, you know, just kind of what you've got. That's what you use. and kind of scrape it and bring it forward a little bit more into lighter areas. And I get that white back on top. There we go. Use the back of my nail. Why not? go. I guess I just go for that blue. Get a little green though. Why not? A little green in some of these areas. I like that. Have a good time. There's no mistakes. They lead you places, right? Remember? Okay, so sometimes you want to get those lines back in there. Get them back in slightly. Whatever you need to do. Smear it if you don't like it. Just always get it back to the place that you feel comfortable with it. Walk away from your work for a minute, right? You can always do that crisscrossing with that, kind of scraping a little to reveal some other colors underneath. Think you took too much off? Go like that. Do your thing. Now we're going to do this, this area here. So I talked to you a little bit about that orange and blue, right? Kind of browning out. Get some texture in there. I'm gonna have a little shadowy area, right? Here's that orange. Let's see what happens when I start throwing that in there. Oh, well, those little eggs are kind of making a little sound as they rock around. <laughs> I'm gonna actually move them so they just stop. Hush. <laughs> Okay, so check that out. See how they're, all those colors, browns and blues and whites, tan, dark colors, light colors. I'm gonna need to throw some of this green in here. I'm not gonna spend as much time on that part, but you're getting the drift, right? You see what's happening here? some of that red. It's in that strange, maybe pink to kind of gray that out. Ooh, I like that. Look what happens. You think, how could pink be in here? But it does something when it goes over these other colors. It makes it creamy and a beautiful sort of blue-gray happening. And I really like that. You want your eye to kind of keep moving all over, right? So then this, this area out here, of like a light, beautiful color. So I'm going to take some of that white, clean it off, take some of that white and just, you can't see it maybe at first, but I'm just going to, whoops, kind of smear it on there and then take a little bit of this. Run away. <laughs> Run away piece. And I'm going to, I'm going to get that Where's my black again? You're getting all kind of picky choosy here, but I like it. So now I'm gonna smear this around. 
and then take that white and go over it again. So make kind of like a light blue. So there's the idea. I want you to take it places. Where are you going to go with it? Get some of that black in here, maybe, who knows, hatch, do some hatch marks. You decide where you're going to take your work, how you're going to dream this up from your imagination. It'll come right from your mind, down into your hands, and out onto the paper. So we're done here. And um, I hope you have a great time. Send us your pictures if you do any. We love to see it. Well, there you are. So glad you joined. Have fun. See you next time. Bye.